Hey, it's Edge here, and on today's video, we're checking out um, Bitcoin again. This is now going to be another update. Um, last time, we had an idea on this area right here that this was a wave four, and this was looking like a triangle. You had all the good looking wave structures in the RSI as well, and we had have now broken through this low, invalidating that triangle idea. Now, we still got a few ideas here left that we're going to go through today. First is going to be this diagonal pattern, and all of these are going to be around this idea that we have, we've had a high here on the all-time highs, creating a W here with three-wave structure, and now we are creating three-wave structure into the X, and then lower. These are the couple of uh, bearish scenarios before I want to uh, give you the bullish scenario. Now again, uh, ABC, the C wave would look like a diagonal. Whether it ends here is most likely. So let's fix that point here. And this wave four can come all the way down here. Now why is that? Is because this wave one is larger than wave three. And in, in contracting diagonals, that means that the wave five should be smaller, again, than wave three to make it contracting. And again, that would mean that wave four would be smaller than wave two. And that would give us the one to one around here and giving us the invalidation here. Currently, if we are bouncing here, we would be expecting targets around here, either this trend line, or we're going to go over it and create some kind of overthrow. And we are having this area here where a lot of shorts um, have their stops at. So this area here is a great place for another stop loss hunt, basically. So we would, we could be coming up here, create a swing failure pattern and come crashing down, taking all this liquidity up here from all the shorts that were opened later. That would make a lot of sense. Um, and after this correction is done, this X wave, we could be heading lower. Where would that be? Well, let's have a look. So. If we come up all the way here, let's just say casually here, the halfway point. So the minimum target 0.618 around 34K, one to one is the 26K. Now, there's a lot of stops here, just below these lows, creating this really great area for stop, stop hunts as well, and again, now, what would we do, or what would the whales do, is take out the liquidity up here, bring the price down here, uh, stop out all these long spot holders having their stops here, creating a wick down here, and then starting head up. And that would able them, would be able, them to be able to um, fulfill all their orders back here before we head up for the fifth of primary. If that would happen, then this would create massive amount of uh, money coming in. And before the retails getting wrecked here, um, they would be <laughs> looking for a confirmation and that confirmation would probably come later and they would be again buying the top. Now, uh, another possibility is this one, that we've already completed this X wave here, and we would have the same structure here, W, X, and Y, and we would be heading lower from here. This would bring us even lower, 23.5K, 618 would be at 31K, and we wouldn't be taking the lows at the 
like uh, at this six point or oh, point six one eight area. Um, I would still think that if we get price pushed down here, we would take out all these lows and at least create a wick down here and start could start heading higher after that point. Then there's this bullish scenario that I don't really like but it is possible. We would have again this scenario where the WXY would end here or if it's ABC however you want to look this structure as. I like to look at as three waves some might say one two three four and larger wave five but I like to look at as WXY into Y and this would end the primary four correction. Now if that is done we would be looking higher targets for the primary fifth um, this would be or could be a wave one of minute and we would have created possibly this one oh sorry a b c um, i'll delete that for now and this would be a very bullish running running flat actually this hasn't come up here so this would be just a regular flat okay um, another possibility would be that this would be one and this two and this would be again one two on a minuet or one smaller degree scale now we still have this possibility of creating this diagonal here and if that is the case this would be uh, one lower if this one two is actually here because what is this B where it's this one here so we would again be creating another one two three four five wherever it goes no that would be sub yet. now targets for this fifth wave would be around here um, <laughs> and these were well, I've placed these as one, two of minute. This could be minor scale as well. Um, by the looks of last, last of these structures here, um, could it be possibly a intermediate as well? Might be, um, but we would need to look into the scale of things as this would progress higher and see all the subwaves and and the price amounts, how much they are correlated between each other. But yeah, I think that is the most most part of the update I wanted to share to you. So if you have another coin you would like me to analyze, let me know down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye.